Hi everyone! Welcome back to Jalisha Vlogs. So today, we went on a road trip to my friend's house in Tagaytay and papakita ko sa inyo yung mga tips ko whenever I go out with cotton. So today we went out with Cotton and um, a lot of you guys are asking ko ano ba talaga yung mga pinaprepare ko whenever I go out with him. So normally meron akong pang day trip, meron akong pang overnight, and meron din akong pang short trip lang. Um, of course, if you're going to a hotel or a rest house or a resort, you have to double check if it's pet friendly. Kasi ang hirap naman na you travel um, a long way and then pagdating mo doon, hindi pala sila nag -aalaw. And we have to respect that. And even if you're going to your friend's house or to your family member's house, you have to ask if nag ba sila, if you can bring your pet with you. Kasi nga, syempre, hindi naman natin alam, baka mamaya meron sa kanilang asthmatic. So you have to double check if okay ba sa kanila to bring your pet with you. So tip number two, always double check ano ba yung mga requirements ng hotel na yun. Kailangan ba magdala ka ng crate? Kailangan ba magdala ka ng pen? Kailangan ba magdala ka ng um, stroller for your dog? Kailangan ba nakadiaper sila? So you always have to check ano ba yung mga requirements ng mga hotel at resorts na pupuntahan nyo. Also make sure that you bring your um, booklet with you kasi meron mga vet booklet eh. And sila check in upon check in kung updated ba yung shots ng pet, nung, nung pet nyo. So, yun ang common na chine-check ng mga hotel. So, make sure that you bring the necessary documents whenever you're traveling with your dog. Most especially if required sa hotel or resort na pinag-stayan nyo. So, tip number three. Whenever you're traveling with your dog, make sure that you bring with you yung mga necessities niya. Like, kunyari ako, pag overnight trip, dinadalahan ko siya ng sarili niyang pen and sarili niyang crate. We brought his own towel then with him. I also bring him a list of um, mga essentials niya. Which is later on, I'll show it to you then, guys. You also bring um, mga stuff na kakailanganin niya during the duration of your trip. So, tip number four. Kagaya nga sinabi ko kanina, meron si Cotton overnight bag, meron siyang staycation bag, at meron siyang short trip bags lang. So, ang dala ko ngayon is yung pang day trip bag niya. Check nyo kung anong laman. So... What I have with me for his day trip bag, I have his toy. So, galing ko sa ninang niya from the States. So, yes. Wag kayong ano dyan. May ninang siya. Um, may dala akong sarili niyang water... Water... Um, ang tawag dito? Water bowl. So, may sarili siyang bowl for his water. Um, may dala siyang dentist sticks and treats. Meron din siyang leash. And um, meron siyang diapers. Kasi minsan may mga um, malls or mga house or resorts na kailangan naka-diapers. So, yun. May diapers siyang dala. Meron kaming plastic for him. Kasi kunyari, whenever he poops, we make sure na naka-plastic na siya. Tapos diretso na lang sa basurahan. And then, may sarili siyang water bottle. So, ito. Sarili siyang water bottle. Eh. Nakasulat. 
cotton there. Sa kanya to, meron din siyang sariling alcohol niya. So actually, it's for me, pero para hindi na ay, yung, yung alcohol ko na sa bag ko, ganyan. At least meron siyang sariling niyang um, alcohol bottle. Tissue paper. Aside sa wipes niya, may, meron pa siyang sariling tissue paper. Um, since he's potty trained, kaya lang minsan talaga namamahay siya. So hindi namin sinasun siya. Bigla siyang namamahay kung napupoop siya bigla. Pero may dala talaga kaming newspaper kasi pag sa bahay, hindi siya magsi-CR o oh, wee without this newspaper. Um, as I mentioned earlier, may dala rin akong booklet kung ano yung mga shots niya, updated. So, andito yung mga booklet niya. Yan. Yan. So, ito. May booklet siya. Andiyan lahat yung shots niya, yung front line niya, it's every, everything's there. Pati yung birth certificate niya, dala ko. Tapos dito sa pocket talaga, kanyan, dinadala ko siya ng sarili niyang crackers and extra bottled water, just in case lang. Kasi si Cotton, very maselan siya. So, pag nakainom siya ng water from the tap or faucet, um, sumasakit yung chan niya. There was even a time na nagkamali yung bigay sa kanya. So, he had to be um, medicated ng antibiotics. So, try natin lesson yun. So, lagi siyang mineral water. And then, yun. May sarili siyang wipes. And there. So, everything is here. So, this is yung go-to bag ni Cotton. So, it's very convenient. Andito lahat. Ang behave naman siya. Nakaupo lang siyang ganyan. And tip number five, if you're traveling with your pet, it's very important that you know your pet. Alam mo dapat kung kailan siya na wiwi, kailan siya na pupup, para at least more or less ma ma schedule mo yung yung trip nyo. At the same time, make sure din alam niyo yung pupuntahan nyo. How long ba papunta don? Three hours ba? Two hours ba? Para you can also make pet stops kung saan siya pwede magwiwi, saan siya pwede magpoop, saan siya pwede uminom ng water. Kasi, syempre, hindi naman siya makakapagsalita. Ikaw yung magde-decide for them. So, para better na, okay, yung trip niyong dalawa. So, yun siya. Diba, cotton? So, it's very important that you know your pet. So, kung sa tingin nyo, mahiluhin siya sa daan, oh, i-anticipate yun na yun. Kung mas gusto ba niyang nasa back, back siya ng car or gusto niyang katabi ka niya, so, kailangan ma-anticipate yung lahat yun. And best of all, it's very important na kung saan man kayo pumunta, mag enjoy kayo ng pet nyo. Take a lot of pictures, take a lot of videos. So, it treasure nyo every memory nyo whenever you go out with your pet.